Hello friends, today we're going to do something very interesting. We are going to deploy our own token in a layer 2 solution. And this layer 2 solution is Arbitrum. Arbitrum is a layer 2 that works on top of Ethereum and that it's secured by the Ethereum network itself, but it manages its own data. For this project, we're going to have a GitHub repository in the description of the video that you can go back in order to get the code. We also need you to set your network and for your network you have to input this command Brownie Networks at Arbitrum, Arbitrum Rinkeby. This could be any name that you want to give it. This is the one I'm given to that network. Host, which is a link that you are going to get from Morales, and I will show you where. And then a name to the network, a chain ID. This is very important. And also the Explorer. Now let's go to get our host. For getting our host, we're going to go to Morales. If you are a member, you log in. If you are not, you sign up for free. But let's log in as a member and go to a speedy nodes and in speedy nodes we go to arbitrum we get the ring of testnet copy that link and then you paste it in host as we show you here if you done that correctly when you do brownie networks list you are going to see arbitrum appear in your configuration and we have it over here now that you have done that let's proceed to our deployment to deploy we are going to follow this smart contract that we have in the screen this is an smart contract that we have that is totally derived from the templates that are offered by open zeppelin and the reason that we're using these templates is because when we use them, we are sure that the functions and everything that is in that template is safe and secure. I want to take this opportunity to also clarify that the icon that shows for ERC20 tokens is not part of the blockchain. That's an UI element that is managed by the third party that is dealing with the token. So don't get to hang up on that. Focus in the logic then you can figure out the UI later on with whoever third party is managing your token. Now let's do the following. We are going to deploy and for doing that we need to enter the Arbitrum network. So we're going to do the following. We are going to do Brownie console network and we are going to choose Arbitrum Rinkeby. we have everything running correctly now we're going to do the deployment our token is called the fellowship in the contract and it's called a lot of the rings with token as a symbol so let's do the fellowship let's do deploy and we need to deploy it but we are going to stumble into something here and is that it's going to ask for an account and we have not loaded so let's do something account is equal to accounts load and in load we are going to load the account that we use for me it's called testing account it's going to ask for a password so i put my password I'm in now I can do the fellowship deploy and in deployment I'm going to have the following I'm going to add the number of tokens that I want to release let's say that I want 1 million so for this we have to add six zeros which is the 1 million plus the number of decimals that the network has which is 18 so that's 24 zero so that's 10 to the 24 and that's our initial supply and then the deployment is going to come from this account object that we just have loaded there
now that we have that we just enter and wait for our deployment it was very very fast now we have the contract here and we can go to our metamask to check our tokens and uh, here let's go to arbitrum and here let's go to add token so we go to assets add token we add the token address and it's detecting token with 18 decimals we go and add our tokens and here it is i have 1 million token of token <laughs> so that's it guys i hope that this video has been useful for you smash that like and subscribe to the morales channel